Right, <clears throat> I've got it running, but I wouldn't class that as a major success. Um, let me zoom in. The flow is not good at all. It's effectively coming out in a drip rather than a flow. The main reason for that will be the pressure's lower at this house and I found out why the um, tee off of the main supply to the cold water tap in the kitchen, um, which is direct mains, is literally a tee off that involves a sort of insert into the pipe. You put a collar round and it sort of forces a hole through the pipe. Um, it's therefore less in diameter than the original pipe otherwise it wouldn't work <laughs> so it's it's not up to full pressure uh, I've got choices I either don't use it which is obviously not on at the moment or it's just going to take twice as long as it did or I change the restrictor um, unit which is <laughs> get seasick going in and out um, that little unit on the top yeah little cylindrical unit in the center on the top now that's the restrictor unit and what it does is it um, restricts the flow um, now I've already changed that when I got my last membrane replacement I changed I, I upped it from 50 something or others a day to 100 something or others a day or an hour or something or other but basically I doubled the um, throughput of the unit and to do that you had to change the um, restrictor unit so I did but what I did was I went up one to the to the one that was recommended which means that more water can flow through and come out the end as clean water but it's not quite as clean as it would have been with the right unit and what that did was that pushed my TDS my parts per million from 8 to 11 that's still ridiculously low as far as I'm concerned so my easy option is to change that unit again and jump up now okay if my parts per million jumps up dramatically and goes up to 20 or even 30 that's still good water and that will push a lot more through the unit speed up the flow and reduce the waste and that's the easy option. I think a new unit is, it, is somewhere between five and ten pounds. It's not a lot of money. <laughs> My problem is, is I don't know what size unit I've got. I'm hoping it's written on it. <laughs> I'm going to go out and have a look. But yeah, I've just looked into it, checking all the pipes and everything. And um, the way that external tap has been set up is just restricting the flow before it even gets to the RO unit. And there's not much I can do about that apart from do it properly. You know, which means shutting all the water system off and it's all in under the sink, you know, re restricted access and everything. And it would mean cutting the pipe and putting a proper T-junction in it and then connecting up to that so that it had the same pressure through that pipe as the rest of the system. But uh, anyway, it will eventually fill my bucket up and um, I won't get all the water... It, all my um, containers filled up today that's not going to happen not at that speed um, you know I'm down to probably uh, two-thirds of the flow rate that I used to be at so it's going to take a, a fair bit longer but all I need to do is get enough water in to last me a while if you see what I mean I don't need to fill everything up like I would normally do which normally takes all day especially as I've actually got an orchid society meeting this afternoon where I won't be watching this and obviously I don't want it to fill up and overflow. So I'll get some water going today and then I'll get some more tomorrow and um, we'll see how we go. And in the meantime, I think the I'll go for the easy option and try upping the um, unit because um, it certainly made quite an improvement last time round. Um, and if I can make a similar improvement this time, it'll sort of do the job. Bit of a bodge, but um, it's easy enough to replace that unit. They're just push-pull fittings basically so very easy to do so we'll give that a try for little money and see if it improves the flow rate um, 
as I said, it's not just the flow rate, it's, it's the, the relative relationship between the flow rate of the good water and the flow rate of the bad water. And at the moment, it's, it's round the wrong way. We've got, um, I don't know whether you can even see it. Uh, here we go with the zoom again. I'm determined to make you seasick. But that's, that's the flow of the waste pipe there, where, I'm not even sure you can see it. I mean, I can see it with my eyes, but um, yeah, so I mean, that you know, that's a reasonable flow rate there going down the drain, um, which is about the same as it used to be. And that's because of the reduced pressure. But what's also bad is obviously the flow rate. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing here. It's the flow rate there, which is, which is quite slow. The thing is, it comes and goes. Now, I suspect these two houses are actually linked um, and they may well have a single supply. So obviously every time next door turns their tap on or has a shower or does anything like that, it reduces the pressure in this house. Um, that might not be true, I don't know. But at the moment I'm not using any water at all. And as you can see, the pressure's all, it's already changed from a drip to a flow. So the pressure is changing all the time, and I suspect it's being affected possibly by next door. Um, I, I don't know that, but it's not being affected by anything here because I'm not using any. <laughs> anyway, um, I will get some more water so the plants won't go without. And as I said, if you know, even if I have to just do a bit every now and again and not do one big lot until a new unit comes, we shall see. Anyway. Uh, more water on its way. It'll be freezing cold, <laughs> so it'll either have to be warmed up, you know, literally using some warm water in a container, or, or I'll have to wait for it to get up to room temperature. But I can see that pressure is coming and going, and it's not changing in this house as far as I know, so it's changing on the feed from the road at some point. So uh, anyway, see you next time. All good fun, isn't it? <laughs>